Hey there, rock and roll junkies. Charlie here with another Grey Wolf first impression. The series where I listen to an album, usually a new album, for the first time and give my impression and ideas and opinions on it. So for this episode, we're gonna do Blink 182's uh, deluxe version of their album California, which which means basically I'm gonna be reviewing, not reviewing, this is not an official review. I'm gonna be talking about the side disc two of California's deluxe edition. In other words, the new songs that just came out. It's very confusing. But this is not a review. I'm gonna do a full review in the future. I just do this so I can compare and contrast what I thought of the album back then to what I think about it in the future. So, let's get into Blink 182's deluxe version of California. Disc 2. Okay, so this album, Disc 2 at least, was released May 19th, 2017, which is like almost, almost a year after the original release of California, which is Disc 1. It's very confusing. So, Let's get to the first track, which is Parking Lot. Uh, this was a single, so I've heard this more than once. The first time I heard it, I liked it. I actually liked it a lot, more than a lot of things on the, on the main album. I was surprised this song specifically didn't make it onto the main album. Now this song has, you know, it has a nice little classic Blink intro. The drums are great, of course, because you know, Travis is doing the drums. So all the drums on every single song on this album are gonna be good. Now, I enjoy the vocals on this song, but I prefer Matt's voice here over, over Mark's. I just think Matt has better verses on this song. It has like cool gang vocals near the end where they're like all like singing together. The, you know, the na 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 na's. You know how this album has way too many na's? The na's on this song don't bother me surprisingly. They just don't. I just think it's a great song overall. So, Song number two, Misery. Now, I don't remember if this was a single or not. Like, I, they came, the singles came out a long time ago and I just don't remember if this is one of them. But, this song has a sad intro. I like the bass on this one. It's quite catchy. I love the vocal traits, how they trade off vocals, Matt and Mark. Um, not too sure about the effects on Mark's voice. I, that's one thing. My biggest critique over California is that I don't like the production. I feel it's overproduced. I don't like their use of uh, synth synthesizers or vocal effects or, you know, auto-tune, things like that they did on the album. And I just felt it was unnecessary. And that's my biggest gripe against California. And I guess maybe subsequently this album. So, you know, that's my, that's my thing with this song. I think it's a good song, I just don't like the effects. So then let's go on to song number three, which is Good Old Days. Uh, I feel like the vocal combo here is kind of weird. How like the vocals overlap. Uh, it's, it's weird, but I, you know, I went along with it. Uh, the drums are great, again, obviously. The problem with this song is that from the first listen, now this is a new song for me. From the first listen, it didn't catch me at all. I felt this song just came and went. It failed to impress me. I found it kind of boring from the first listen. I, I barely remember it. I really didn't care for it. I can't even say if it's a bad song because I don't remember it. It's just so forgettable. So let's go on to the next one, which is Don't Mean Anything. Now the intro sounds eerily like Adam song, the riff here, which there is more than one song on California or California Deluxe, which kind of has little moments that sound like the riff from Adam song. I like the chorus here, you know, when they when they sing, I don't mean anything. I like that. I feel like I enjoy this song more over time. For the first listen, I don't love it, but I feel like I could love it someday. Just not anytime soon. So this is not a bad song. Not bad at all. So we go on to track number five, which is, hey, I'm sorry. 
uh, again with the vocal effects. It starts off, and I don't like them. I don't like them. I like the chorus on this song, but the woes, the woes, they ruin it. They just ruin it. I, I can say that about the whole album, but the vocals are great. You know, when they're not doing woes, I think the vocals are great. The instruments come together nicely here. But the woes feel really forced in this song just more than anything. They just feel so forced here. But you know, I love the end near like when the drums get louder, just everything gets louder, and they're all like singing louder. It's really cool. This song, however, just had to find a way to kill itself and it ends, it ends on a whoa! Why? I don't know. So I don't know if I like this song or not. Because I like parts of it, but then the woe comes in and kind of just kills it for me. So I'm just gonna, on the first listen, I'm just like, it's like, whatever. I mean. So let's go to number six, which is the last train home. I love Matt singing here. I love how it overlaps like the other song. But it's like Matt singing over himself, which I think is pretty cool. And then Mark comes in singing over the two Matts. So it's like this really cool effect of overlap going on in this one. I think the song just overall is pretty amazing. I think the song is fantastic. Vocal, drums, everything just really good. It has a lot of emotion packed into this song. Uh, you know, this song kind of repeats itself lyrically. And I hate songs that do that. I absolutely despise songs that do that. But I really like this one. Like this song got away with that for me. Like it, just everything is great. This might be my favorite song from the deluxe version of Side 2 of California. So let's go on to number seven, which is Wildfire. Intro here, kind of the riff here sounds like Bored to Death. Is that the point? I don't know. It, it breaks into, though, after the whole Bored to Death riff, it breaks into like this really cool pop punk riff, which I think is pretty cool. I, didn't, I enjoyed this one musically, but lyrically I found it to be lackluster. Kind of boring lyrically, but musically it had, it had Something's going for it. Maybe I'll like it more with time, maybe I won't. I don't know. So let's go on to the next one, which is 6 8. I didn't like this one at first. This was a single. I do remember this one. I didn't like it. That was kind of weird. Uh, I like the intro, it's pretty heavy. I mean, it's still, I still think it's weird, but hearing it again after all this time, I do like it more. And that's all I gotta say for that one. Number nine, which is long lost feeling. It's too slow. I don't like slow songs. I, I hate slow songs. This one bored me. I, I kind of stopped to just listen to the lyrics and it's like, they're pretty good in the lyrics here. Oh yeah, there's a little riff in here. It sounds like Adam's song again. So there's that. <laughs> it's like another cameo for Adam's song. So let's move on to number 10, which is Bottom of the Ocean. I really like this song. This song is kind of weird though. It's kind of produced almost like a pop song or like a rap song, like locally. But I went along with it and I thought it sounded cool. And Matt and Mark sound really good on this. They sound really good together. I liked it. I liked it from this first listen. I, I liked it. It's kind of weird, but I liked it. So that brings us to the last track, track number 11, which is Can't Get You More Pregnant. Again, it's a gag song. It's pretty cool. I just wish it was longer. The riff here reminds me of uh, Parking Lot, which is the first song on this disc, which is kind of cool. It kind of brings the whole album full circle. Right. I mean, I know technically there's a 12 track, which is War to Death Acoustic, which is a live version of them playing more death acoustically, but that I don't count that since it's not a new song. And I'm gonna talk about that when I talk about California. But overall, let's talk about this album. Overall, um, for my first listen of listening to this disc two, I think it's it's more of the same. I I prefer California to most to a lot of this, but there are some songs on here that I like off of some songs in California. Like, I feel there's songs that I could replace, take a song from here, and exchange with a song from California. Because there's some songs in California that I don't like, and 
there's some songs on this that I really do like that I feel if they would have switched, California would have been a better album. So, you know, this too, from the first listen, I think it's okay. It didn't blow me away. It's, I kind of expected this after hearing California. I expected this. I expected the production to be exactly the same. But I will say there are some songs here, like the first couple songs I really do like a lot. And maybe with time, I'll enjoy it more. Like California was the same thing. With time, I learned to enjoy that album more. That's all for this first impression. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for maybe my full review for California.